Rivers. My name is Jean Nicole Rivers and I am the founder of Simply Stylist Writing Software. I'm also a writer and I've written and published two psychological horror novels, Blackwater Tales, The Unwanted, and Blackwater Tales, The Secret Keepers, along with countless other short stories and flash fiction that you can read on my website at www.ginacolerivers.com. Today, this video is going to take aim at negative self-talk that keeps you from ever starting your novel in the first place. There's a saying that the best ideas in the world are in the graveyard. And when I first heard this saying, I was blown away by how absolutely true it is. How many times have you been talking to a friend or a family member and they have a really powerful idea, but they just don't have the resources or necessarily the specific skills to bring that idea to fruition? many times, right? Well, the same thing is true and applies to stories and novels. Some of the best novels are in the graveyard, but that is not where we want your story to end up. So let's discuss some of that negative self-talk that keeps you from ever getting started in or completing your novel. The only way to get rid of it is to deal with it head on. Now, while the things I'm about to discuss are not the things I hear most often, they are the things that I've been hearing more recently from aspiring writers. The first thing is there are already too many novels similar to mine with my same subject matter. Well, the fact of the matter is there's only a finite amount of topics and story plots, so there will always be stories that are similar to yours or have some overlap on the subject matter. But that is no reason for you not to start writing your novel and not to tell your story. There were already many stories about vampires before Anne Rice ever wrote Interview with the Vampire and even more before Stephanie Meyer started Twilight. But they were still phenomenally successful because the most unique and intriguing aspect of the story comes from the storyteller, which is you. There is no other you and you're the only person who can tell your story the way you tell it. The second one I hear all the time is, I get distracted because I have too many ideas. Well, that's a great problem to have as a writer. And there's a really simple solution. Always jot down all of your ideas so that you don't have to fear losing them. Whether it is in a little idea, a idea pad or even in the notes on your phone. Even though you may have many ideas, start with the one that you think about the most often and put the others to the side. When you begin your novel, it's a huge commitment. It's like you're in a relationship with that story. So you really have to submit to that one idea. If you have other story ideas that you just can't get out of your head, that's okay too. Take a break every now and then from writing your novel and consider turning those other ideas into short stories or flash fiction, um, especially in the time if you're writing your novel between rewrites. You're going to have to put your novel down anyway for some time to kind of let your mind refresh and that's a great time to pick up and write a short story or a piece of flash fiction. You can always go back later and turn those short stories into full-length novels if you're really moved to do that. So let's recap. There are already too many novels similar to mine or about my subject. There will always be novels similar to yours. Do not let this stop you from telling your story. I get distracted by too many ideas. That is actually a really great problem to have, especially in comparison to not having any ideas at all. Document all of your ideas so that you do not lose them and take short breaks from writing your novel in order to turn those pieces into flash fiction or short stories. That's all I have for you today, writers. If you've enjoyed this video, please like, comment, subscribe, or share. Also, if you want to stay in the Simply Writing Loop, come and join our supportive community of writers in our Simply Writing Facebook group or join our email list so that you can continue uh, so that we can continue to help you on your writing journey with the links provided below. Thank you.